Hello and welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Today I'm going to be showing you my F8E Crusader. This is a monogram Ravel kit. It's in 148 scale and it has decals for VF11, the Red Rippers. Um, reason why I chose the VF11 decals for this particular build is the last cruise that I was on, the last time I was on a carrier, VF11 was part of our carrier air group. Anyway, like I said, monogram Ravel 148 scale. Some of the things that I did to this model, uh, I put the pewter landing gear on it um, just because of the design of the landing gear on this particular uh, aircraft, the landing gear was a weak point. And so I bought the pewter landing gear to go on the model just to make sure that it was strong enough in case it gets jostled around or anything. I also uh, did a afterburner uh, mod. It's uh, basically putting a flame holder. Um, puts a flame holder up inside the exhaust and details the exhaust a little bit um, and I'll show you a couple of photos of when I was building the airplane but first I'm going to show you the video of and, and this was built back in 2013 so a little bit of an older model but still looks pretty good check out the video and then I'm going to show you the pictures right after that and this is my 148 scale monogram F8E Crusader now this is known as the last of the gunfighters because it was one of the last aircraft that the Navy had for a while anyway that actually had internal guns. You can see the gun ports uh, underneath the cockpit on the left and right side of the forward fuselage. Now this is a really nice kit. It was very simple, straightforward, not a whole lot of uh, issues or problems with this aircraft. Now I did do a detail uh, kit on the exhaust. Um, it has the afterburner rings up inside the exhaust area and uh, I added a little bit of extra details into the cockpit as I was building this. Now I've got some photos that I'll be showing you of the build. I've had this aircraft, uh, this particular model now since uh, 2014 so she has been uh, sitting around for a little while but holding up pretty good, still looking pretty nice. Now you'll also notice the blue uh, on the center windscreen when it comes back around again. Uh, that was something else that I had added also uh, to give it a little bit more realistic look. But uh, I have the decals of VF-11, which uh, they were actually one of the squadrons that uh, I deployed with on my last carrier deployment. Uh, they were VFA-11 at the time. but. Uh, I wanted to put uh, this, these markings on this aircraft kind of as a tribute to uh, to the guys and gals in the squadron there that uh, that I knew while I was in service. So I'm going to show you some of the build photos. Alright, well I appreciate you guys taking a look, uh, thank you for your time, thanks for your support for my channel. If you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I put out a new uh, video, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I mean, I can take a little bit of constructive criticism, just be nice, be easy, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm sure you guys are all going to be nice, and, and I appreciate, like I said, everything that you do. So. Thanks again for watching. Hope everybody's having a really great day. God bless. See you again real soon. Easy and squeezy. And that's uh, Ernie Hatmaker saying hello. Bye now.